mainstream media, and isn't it interesting, I think the public relations industry and the journalism industry have their big shindig in Auckland on the same night, and it was Friday night, uh, Saturday night, I think, in Auckland, the Voyager Media Awards. I'm sorry, Ben, we didn't go. We had a few drinks here on Friday, a belated first birthday party, and we went down to Chin Chin's and, uh, and drank some wine and had some nice Italian food. Um, but I can tell you that uh, on Saturday night in Auckland, it was cheap tuxedos um, in strapless dresses, and it was the uh, PR and the uh, New Zealand Media Awards. They're called the Voyager Media Awards at the moment. Voyager are a kind of telco infrastructure type company. Uh, they used to be the Qantas Media Awards. I've got a few Qantas Media Awards. They've been uh, sponsored by all sorts of people over the years, the Media Awards. It's basically an in-house circle jerk, and it always has been, and even I, who have my awards on my wall, recognise that they are for a field of endeavour that is carefully uh, defined and you get an award, maybe not necessarily because your work is great, but because it fits the narrative of the day. And nothing could be, it's never been more true than what happened on Saturday night at the Cordes Hotel in Auckland, where the best news documentary of the year award went to a, a, a work funded by the government, of course, through New Zealand On Air, funded by state money, a documentary called Fire and Fury, one of the period, worst period, pieces of crap period that has ever been made in New Zealand television and, and online media journalism. Fire and Fury. It used music. It used fake setups, it used computer graphics to give a skewed view of the parliamentary protest last year, early last year. Absolutely skewed view of that. It proclaimed, it was made by Stuff and, I don't know, all the other wokesters got together and worked on it. Stuff Circuit, it was made by Paula Penfold was the journalist and a few fluffy Bum fluffy uh, guys did the graphics, I think. But this documentary was so bad, it extolled the virtue of not seeking comment from a lot of the people that it criticised. It said it didn't need to. It broke new ground, and it was groundbreaking, and that it abandoned some of the fundamentals of decent, halfway decent journalism. Um, it used emotive music and manipulative editing and graphics that weren't real to demonise uh, the people who were at Parliament and support the government narrative. It was truly shocking. But last night, all the lovies at the mainstream media Voyage Awards at Cordes all blubbed and clapped and patted each other on the back as Fire and Fury was named Documentary of the Year. What a travesty. I couldn't even be bothered going and searching who the judges were because I know who they'll be. They'll be the same bunch of smug, self-satisfied mainstream journalists um, who have sucked on the public tit for years and do not care, do not care for the basic fundamentals of journalism. I'm also going to make the observation that one Tova O'Brien, who couldn't run a breakfast talk, channel, even with millions and millions of dollars that rated and could survive commercially, somehow Tova becomes media personality of the year or presenter of the year. And I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking at that point when I read that, that the journalists of the Voyager Media Awards, the sorry, the judges and the organisers of the Voyager Media Awards do not give a stuff for you for their audience, for the people who read newspapers, listen to the radio, watch online, watch the telly. They do, they do not care about you. They are completely and utterly disinterested in you. They must be. Otherwise, how could they treat you with such utter contempt? How could they continue to gaslight you and say, this is our, these are our best and brightest 
even though you tell us through your viewership and listenership that you don't think they are. Even though you write us letters saying these are crap pieces of work, we are still going to insist that our worst is our best because we are not listening to New Zealand and we don't really represent New Zealand. We represent our own woke government-funded view of the world. Um, so there is my rave. Um, I suspect, Ben, I'm sorry, mate, we're never going to get invited to the Voyager Media Awards. I think you've got to be a member of the Media Council or something to qualify, and we just don't, and I don't give a stuff. Yeah, well, there's that old saying, Sean, um, your booze mean nothing, I've seen what makes you cheer. So oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> stuff Fire and Fury are winning there. I don't know if I want to go. Yeah, it. can you believe that though, Ben? I mean, I can, if I'm honest with you. I think I said to you earlier, I think it's predictable, um, given who, you know, the panellists and the judges probably are. Yeah. Um, who could have seen that one coming? But, yeah. Yeah. Amazing, Not though, great. because clearly people didn't think it was the best documentary, and it clearly wasn't. But it's like they just don't give us stuff. Um, they live in an alternate universe. 